On today's installation video, we'll be showing you how to install a race chip on a BMW B48 2 liter available across many BMW models. Before installing the race chip, please wait until your engine is cool enough to work on. Put your parking brake or emergency brake on. If your vehicle is equipped with an alarm system, please disable it. Pop the hood, roll up the windows, close the doors, and press the lock button on your key fob and move that key fob 30 feet away. You're gonna wait about 10 minutes after for all the electricity to clear from underneath the hood. First step on the installation is to remove the two 10 millimeter bolts right here on the air intake. Now we're gonna take this air intake off. There'll be one push tab right here. You need to push on the back of the air intake housing and then lift everything straight up and it will slide right out. On the B48, we're gonna connect our A to our boost pressure sensor right here underneath the air cleaner. Our B is gonna go to our manifold pressure sensor right here in the front. And our C is gonna go to our mass airflow sensor right here after the air intake. Then we're gonna go over to the race chip box, go ahead and open it up. And we will grab our wiring harness first. First we're going to start with our A connection, going to our boost pressure sensor, which is right here in front of the throttle body. To unplug the OEM sensor plug, we're going to use a small flathead screwdriver to pull back on the white locking tab on the sensor. Then you can either lift up on the front of the tab or push down on the back with the screwdriver and pull that back to unplug the sensor plug. Then you'll take the male end and plug it into the female end of the race chip wiring harness. Push it until it clicks and then lock when it snaps. Then we'll take the male end of the race chip wiring harness and put it right back onto that OEM sensor. And then push on the gray locking tab until it clicks and locks. Next up is the B connection going to the manifold pressure sensor right here on the front of the motor. Just like on the A connection, we're gonna pull down the locking tab and then press down and pull back on the OEM sensor plug. We then will take the female end of the race chip wiring harness with the B connection and plug that directly into the OEM sensor plug, locking it in place with the locking tab. Then we'll take our male connection and plug it directly back into that OEM sensor, pushing it in and locking it in place with the gray locking tab. And now the last connection we're going to make is to our mass airflow sensor right after the air cleaner. So just like the other two sensors, there's going to be that white locking tab on the bottom. Pull back, push down, and pull back on the OEM sensor plug. Taking the female end of the race chip supplied wiring harness, plug that directly in, and lock it in place. Then take the male end. Now please note this one's going to go upside down with the locking tab going towards the bottom. Plug that in, and lock it in place with the gray locking tab. Then we're going to go back over to our race chip box and grab our GTS, RS, or S. And for the last time, we're going to return to the box. Go ahead and open the smaller rectangular white box to get our locking tabs and our zip ties. Using the shorter of the supplied zip ties, we're going to mount and route the race chip wiring harness. And we zip tie to electrical lines. We don't want to zip tie too tight to pinch off the line. Same thing with fluid lines. We don't want to zip tie to pinch off that flow of fluids. And we want to make sure when we're routing the harness, we're staying away from any hot moving parts, especially like the belt or the fans. Next up, to install the race chip itself, we're going to put our four mounting tabs, one in each corner. Make sure you push them in until they lock in place. Now the really nice thing about our locking tabs is it allows you to mount the race chip either vertically or horizontally. And if you ever need to remove the race chip for any reason, instead of having to cut the zip ties, instead you can push the four corners and the locking tabs and actually release the locking tabs and keep the zip tie and tabs in the car and just remove the race chip. Now we're gonna remove our deactivation plug. Now this comes in every harness. What this is is this is to revert the car back to stock if you ever need to take the car in for service or anything like that. So don't throw this away, hang on to it, keep it in your glove compartment, maybe your uh, center console. So to remove the deactivation plug, we're gonna pull on the FCI plug until it releases the deactivation plug. Set that aside. 
Then we'll take our race chip and plug it directly back into the wiring harness, locking it in place with the purple FCI plug. Now the first time we install our unit, it's really important that we have no lights on the LED screen or if you have the RS or S, there's no green LED illuminated. We don't want any power going to the device the first time we install it. So for this application, we're gonna mount our two longer supplied zip ties vertically to mount the race chip. When installing the unit, we wanna keep it away from any moisture or hot or moving parts. So in the X2 here, we found a great cavity right behind the front passenger headlight. And above the wheel well, it's perfect for the unit to be mounted. And the last thing to do here before we reinstall the air intake is to cut the excess ends off all the zip ties to get everything a nice OEM look. And the last step here is to reinstall the air intake. Just like taking it out, it's gonna slide directly down Align the two pegs and slide everything until it clicks and locks in place. And then we'll finish everything off by reinstalling and tightening our two 10 millimeter nuts. Start in the default setting of the race ship for the first time you test drive the car. If everything works great, you can then move the race ship to the next level up. Be aware that the car needs some time to adapt before releasing the full performance upgrade. Now, get out, drive, and enjoy your race chip.